It's day 30 of Dopamine's Litter, and this is Mr. Mice Guy. Let's take a final look at the pups in this video series. I, I still can't believe I've been filming these guys for 30 days. <laughs> um, sometimes when they have long hair, the, uh, the bedding likes to stick to them a little bit. So, uh, when I made this pairing, actually I should probably get the parents out, both parents. Hmm. Let me go grab both the parents uh, so we can take a final look at them and just kind of talk about that. Um, yeah, let me go grab them actually. I'll be right back. Wash the mice. <laughs> Good. Everybody's still here, so that, that that's that's a plus. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this is the the father of the pups, uh, who has actually never seen his pups here, so I don't know how they're going to interact. Um, but that's the father. He had a really good length. He was the winner of the 2020 March Virtual Fancy Mouse Breeders uh, Show um, in the coded category. Uh, and I paired him with dopamine um, to hopefully try to augment that coat length. Um, in the when he was younger, and like when I submitted his pictures for the show, like his hair was so much longer, and he's lost a lot of that with age, which is a thing that happens. Um, but I was hoping to augment the length by combining him with dopamine because dopamine's unrelated. And so I was hoping that we would have some sort of, uh, I don't know, augmentation through different, different genes at play. So, uh, something that is good about him though is like, uh, how thick his fur is. So it didn't keep the length, but so thick right here. The fur is so very thick. Um, dopamine doesn't have that same thickness. So let's put the dad back, and the father is Jairus. Put the father back. <clears throat> and then, uh, which we've all, we've all seen dopamine, but let's check out dopamine again as well. Um, here's dopamine. Um, has some length, again, unrelated to Jairus. And so, uh, doesn't have super thick hair but had surprisingly long hair. Oops, <laughs> come on guys. Uh, surprisingly long hair, I wasn't even expecting her to have Angora, um, and so I was pleasantly surprised by uh, her length. So I was hoping to combine them and get some augmented length. Now, did that happen? I still don't, I still don't know. <laughs> um, I, I think that we got pretty good length, uh, which, you know, that is what we would, I would expect to have some length. Um, Trying to find my little paintbrush and I can't I don't see my paintbrush now. But um Yeah. I was expecting to have some length. I don't we don't we don't have like astronomical, like amazing out of this world length. Uh but we do have some length. It's also possible. Um I was thinking it's also possible that we might not see uh well it's possible we might not see any augmented length. That was just an idea that I had. <laughs> um but it's also possible that we may not see the effects of that augmentation until like a generation or two in the future. Um, where uh, like whatever genes that dopamine has and that gyrus have, they might actually be heterozygous in these individuals. Um, and so it could be that there are some extra modifiers that need to be homozygous. And that wouldn't happen until we bred like offspring of offspring together, or if we bred two of these together, um, then we might see some of that augmentation, but I don't know. I don't know if any of that's true or not. That's just an idea. Um, just ideas that I have. Let's 
he's getting some, uh, he's got a lot of wispies, this black one here has got a lot of wispies behind his ear, um, but he's got a lot of wispies down here too, he's, he's not bad, not bad for length. My dog was getting into her treat bag. I had to go grab that. Uh, yeah, so so this is them. Um, my final assessment here, yeah, I mean, I still think Drainfly is the best female uh, of the bunch. Um, this one and this one here are both males. They are smaller than uh, would be expected, um, but length isn't isn't terrible on either of them. Not terrible. Um, uh, got some good length up by the shoulders, it looks like. Just kind of small, body-wise. Um, now, I am kind of reconsidering the potential for breeding two of these together to produce some yellows with good length and potentially have that augmented <laughs> augmented length. I haven't decided if that's something that I'm going to do or not. Um, I would like to have more yellows though, like dopamine. Um, it's also possible that by if I were to breed, I'd do a sibling pairing between these guys. Uh, oops, I <laughs> wasn't planning on that. Um, if I were to do a sibling pair on these guys, it's possible that you know you might get that augmented length that I was talking about. Um, it's also possible that we might get some augmented uh, thickness of fur that might eliminate some of that uh, sparsity in hair that we see. Um, but on the flip side, I kind of want to keep crossing out to my fancy show line of mice um, because they just have some, substantially better temperaments and, and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll see, there's still some time to make decisions here. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm starting to peek at this guy. This is uh, one of the males. I want to look at him over here. Yeah, he's so small, but it's his hair length is good, but he's tiny. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why he's so tiny, but oops. But it seems like he's got some good length on like the uh, the belly and sides there. He's got some length going on. that the black one, the, of the two males, I think that the, the black male is the better of the two. Um, but it's so hard, I find it so hard to compare them when they have different colors, because I feel like the color affects how the coat looks and how I perceive it. And so I would really love for them to all be the same color. It would be less interesting, the litters would be less interesting, I think, but uh, I think it would be easier to uh, determine which one had the best length between them. If they were like, if they were all black or all beige, all dove. Um, yeah. They're trying to get back in their bin, by the way. That's what's going on over here. Their, their, their cage is like right there. <laughs> and they're trying to get back, I guess is what they're trying to do. guys. 
So I would like to know what, um, how many people have watched like all of the videos from Dope Means Litter? <laughs> and um, if that was interesting uh, to have all the videos kind of lined up for the pup's development, I find that really fascinating. I think that I do have a lot of room to improve as far as like entertainment value. I don't think I'm a great presenter <laughs> necessarily. Um, and I think that there's room to kind of explore different, uh, I don't know, different ways of filming uh, for this sort of thing. Um, but I like the idea of being able to kind of instantly go through and look at the development uh, where it took me a month to do this, but you could watch the whole thing in a couple minutes if you wanted. Um, and uh, I did try to make a video once where it was a, ti a single time-lapse video. I haven't done that because it requires editing. I haven't done that again because it requires a lot of editing. Um, but in the future, I'd like to do that, or maybe even do a series like this and then compile all of the videos together into one time-lapse video, where you could, in, in one 10-minute video, you could watch the development of the pups. Uh, but I don't know, yeah, it, it, it wouldn't be too hard to do if I had a computer that could do editing. <laughs> but I do not have a computer that can do editing, so at least not now. But, um... In the future, I might. Um, I do have some great litters coming up, great pups, which I'll probably be doing more videos on. Um, I am going to be going to school, uh, and so I don't know how that's going to affect this. I might not be able to make videos anymore, <laughs> but ideally I would like to continue making these sorts of videos, um, even while I'm at school. But I don't know if that'll be possible, and I uh, have to figure that out still. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. If I can't keep making videos like this with mice, um, I might explore making some other somewhat similar sort of video. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, for the immediate future, I think I am going to try filming um, in a more casual, simple setup, like maybe with some natural lighting, uh, not using the light box, just so that they're quicker and easier to make. Um, so it's kind of like I can wake up, take a quick video, of an update and do like a series of updates but uh, have less uh, work as far as setup as far as setting up the light box which again it's not a ton of work but it's the light box is huge it's like a two foot by two foot two and a half foot by two and a half foot maybe <laughs> light box and uh, it's just a little bit pain in the butt um, and so I need a spot where it can be permanently set up or I want to try uh, filming without it and again I kind of want to explore different ways of presenting videos and get better at presenting and information and whatnot. So uh, I don't know exactly how I'll do that, but it's something that I'm going to be exploring. So yeah, I think it might be time to wrap this up. It's about thir It's been 13 minutes. Uh, day 30, dope means litter. Yeah, they grow up so fast. Look how huge they are. Um, I might do an occasional update on them still, as their if their fur continues to grow, but I'm not going to be doing daily updates on this litter anymore. Um, so yeah, but if you did watch all the videos, thank you for watching them. <laughs> and um, yeah, stay tuned for future videos. Or and I'd love to hear any suggestions that you have as far as uh, video formats or types of content, because this is the stuff that I like. Um, but how to present it in a way that's entertaining? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know that entertaining comes so natural to me, but, but I'm willing to try to learn and figure it out. So uh, thank you for watching, uh, and uh, we will see you in a future video.